Hello, Virgos. This is your December reading. I know, I know, I know. It's the 10th, but hey, I'm here. <laughs> and it's been a stretch to get here. Mm, had a lot going on. All right, guys. When I first started shuffling off camera, like all these cards fell out. I'm feeling like this scattered energy. Um, a feeling of not being able to really um, get it together like you want. Let's see. What is the energy around my Virgos currently? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. There's a lot of responsibilities that you guys have. I feel like there's a lot of people that depend on you. Okay, and, and this feeling of being pulled like in a lot of different directions. Okay, that is your energy right there. Could be Capricorn um, or Taurus individual as well. That is significant to some of you guys. Ace of Swords here. Yeah, okay. So, was I feel like you guys have a lot going on right now and you're handling it well okay but there there's something that you need to realize i feel in your situation and i think that's um the fact that you cannot do everything okay you guys do a lot of things but you can't do everything and i think that um that's the realization that that needs to to be had okay what is the underlying issue here for my virgos okay let's see i'm, I'm just gonna see what these cards are that just flew out here let's see what they are i'm gonna turn them over just like this and we have the page of wands we have the ace of pentacles and we have the sun energy um i feel like you guys are basically you're missing you're missing something and the thing is you're missing out on an opportunity to truly be happy but i think that um there's something that you need to speak on there's something that you need to speak on because there's something that you are um, missing out on is what I'm feeling. Okay. Whatever that means for you. We have Leo um, fire energy here. I feel Pisces maybe here as well. Pisces, Aries, um, Leo energy. Okay. So speak your mind, speak your peace, because there's something that's going on, and I don't know if you're putting yourself on the back burner or what, okay, for other people. What is the underlying issue here for Virgos? The Nine of Swords in reverse. I think that um, you guys are dwelling on something from the past is a thing. I think you're dwelling on something from the past. Um, it, it's almost on the verge of, you know, you're on the verge of basically overthinking a situation, making more out of a situation than what it really is. For some of you, it could be the fact that this person really, really needs you, um, that you have to do certain things, that you have to be um, a certain way because you're going by your past experiences with this situation with this person um this is virgo not virgo but um gemini energy here but the underlying issue is i think you need to kind of let things um just happen and not try to control the outcome is what i'm feeling here okay let's see in the recent past Recent past for Virgos. The Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. In the recent past, I think a lot of you are really trying to be Captain Sable. You know what? Um, and I kind of hate that that phrase, but that's kind of what it is. Like wanting to not allow someone to fall. And you have to actively keep yourself 
from doing that. Um, it, it bothers you, I feel, to just a, allow things to play out without stepping in. Um, and I think you're struggling with that currently. Part of you is saying, um, step in and intervene and so things won't go to shit. And then the other part of you is like, no, I have to keep moving forward and allow things to happen the way that they're supposed to happen. You know, if I didn't do anything about it. To allow this person to basically, you know, um, do for themselves. Okay? Taurus Capricorn Energy. <clears throat> Crying thoughts for it, Virgo. King of Swords. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of you guys are really stuck. You're really stuck. Um, but I feel like you're at this point where you just want to you want to be an observer. You want to be in control of the situation, of your situation, not of their situation. You want that. You want you want this person to do the right thing. Um, but I see you, you know, kind of wanting to take a step back and, you know, just be a listening ear and and not be like their full support system. <clears throat> What's coming in for my Virgos? Death, Scorpio energy, change, transformation. You guys are definitely changing. Um, I do feel like there's a situation that's coming to an end for some of you guys that um, you feel like, you know, it's been a long time coming, to be honest with you. There's a change coming about here, an ending. How does Scorpio feel about this situation? Ooh. Aries energy. The fool. I feel like you want a new start. I think you want a new start separate from this individual. You also feel like, you know, you've been not necessarily a fool. But I think you guys know that you've gone above and beyond for this person, like, on several occasions, maybe way too much. Um, and I think you're kind of, like, you know, coming to terms. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Drink a sip of water. You're coming to terms with this situation and... Um, and having to remove yourself whether it's physically or whether it's like the responsibility remove yourself from the responsibility of taking care of this person and making sure that everything's okay with them okay Aries energy there <clears throat> what is the influence here for Virgos the hermit there you are there you are. You guys are wanting to seek a different path. And you're trying to figure out what that path is. Okay. I think for a long time you felt like this person was your soulmate. And I feel like you hung around you know, longer than what you felt like you should have. But now I feel like the influence here is you feeling like, okay, there's something else out there better for me. Okay. Hopes or fears for Virgos. Ten of Swords. I think your fear is just completely like cutting it off. That is your fear. Um, a complete um, separation. Okay. Um, I'm getting to that. A lot of you have been with this person for a long time. And um, there's this fear that, you know, you won't be, um, what is the word? You won't find what you're looking for or what you need. Again, Gemini energy there. A lot of you feel like, I think it's just the fact that you have a lot of history with this person. <clears throat> for some of you <clears throat> and it's hard to think about just completely severing ties um, and starting over you know 
And then, you know, on the other hand, a lot of you just want to, you know, you want to see the truth. You want to be able to move forward. You want to be victorious um, in your situation. Let's see what the overall outcome is here. What is the overall outcome for Virgos? Overall outcome for Virgos. <clears throat> mm, okay. The High Priestess. I like it. Piscean energy. I feel like you'll follow your heart. I do feel like you will follow your heart. I feel like this also feels like Gemini energy is here. Um, I'm feeling that magician energy is here. All of this is up to you. You do have the tools to manifest what it is that you want in your life. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. I'm hearing. Okay. Um, follow your heart. Uh, I do feel like there is going to be a separation between you and someone else for some of you. Um, and you won't speak to this person for a while. You'll just be an observer. Okay. You probably will observe what's going on with them um, because there's something in you that still uh, definitely cares about them and you're connected to them. Um, but whether you decide to physically remain with them, for some of you, you won't. Okay, for a lot of you, I feel like you won't. I feel like, I feel you guys moving on. Um, it's just that the unknown of what's, you know, to come, I feel, okay? So that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.